actually when I was asked to to share oh, I almost started to cry because it felt like entering a nightmare today I really really didn't want to share and I was like for a moment I was thinking if I if I can get out of this and I so I could get out of it I could say no and but then I it's not because I try to like oh I have to be good it's more like a trust that I actually can do this no matter what I what I feel and also it was really interesting to sit there and the nervousness today was it's, it's still like my whole body is so nervous I <clears throat> would like to throw up <laughs> and <coughs> also <clears throat> also here it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a huge difference because I, I'm actually I'm actually working as a musician, so I'm used to get up on stages all the time. And before it was like when nervousness came, I I had a feeling I had, I had to put this away. I had, I had to get rid of it and try to think about something else because it it will destroy my performance. And today it was like I can sit here and and really feel this nervousness, and I don't have to to get I don't have to put it away, and I just have a a trust that I can go up on this stage and I can sit here, maybe the nervousness will go away, maybe it won't, but I can be here and I can share something no matter what. And that is, <coughs> oh, for me, it's just the greatest gift to experience this. And I can, I can see that this is where, for me, this is freedom, because freedom is not like the times when nervousness is not there. Because then I'm still, then I still, I'm dependent on what happens. And but now, if I can go up here and share, no matter what I feel, then I'm free. I'm free to do whatever I want to do, actually. And um, yeah, I met the training five years ago in the form of a book, and I started to read it. And I actually didn't. I thought it was the most strange book. <laughs> didn't really get so much but in a way I can see now that of course I got something because I kept on reading it and I started to look up on the website and go to meetings and and just slowly yeah I guess it gave me something immediately but I couldn't really pinpoint what it was and then for in this like four and a half year I made the empowerments and for me that was um, that was a way to be more committed to really do this training, to really use the four mainstays, that is the support structure of this training. And uh, I have used them since then. And yeah, life has really shifted, but not as I thought it should shift. I, I was living a really good life, but I, I wasn't... It was too hard. It felt like life was too hard. So it felt like I had to do something to change life so it will get more ease, easeful. And uh, so I thought I had to like maybe do another job or change partner, things like change things. And I really, it's like looking the same as it, as it did five years ago, almost, almost exactly the same, but in another way, so different because I'm so much more happy or oh, it's hard to describe because it's not like I feel happy all the time but I'm I'm comfortable with life and I'm it's okay to live the same way as I did because it's like I can live this the rest of my life because I I know life is good in every moment and for like I was also also thinking if I go up here and make the mo the worst share ever it's okay because I will like it, it's it won't last I won't I will forget that in tomorrow it's not a big deal you know and that's also a relief that I can do something and <laughs> it won't last so it's such a relief that every moment is new and uh, how I use the four mainstays is I I think I regularly write to my trainer <laughs> um, it's the greatest support to write to someone, both in the way that you, you for yourself, you, um, you verbalize for yourself what you feel, what you think, and, and what's the, what the problem is. It can be like, I have a problem, 
But when you write it down, it's more obvious to you what you get indulged in or what you yeah, have a problem with. And also to get the support that always directs me to recognize open intelligence and the freedom there. And uh, I, have, um, I live in Malmö, Sweden, and we have a community there. We meet every week, and that is also a really, really great support to just have friends doing the same thing. And I, I moved in with one participant last year, and also to... Yeah, there's something very supportive to meet other participants doing the same thing. Even if you just have like a normal life, a normal like conversation of everyday life, it's still something you are supported to always go to solutions and uh, see the the beauty of life instead of indulging uh, how bad it is, <laughs> simply. And, um, and then trainings. Training is like this boost for me to, to be here and really, really go in, have a day of only focus on this and to do this for, I do this regularly, go to centers and, or like one day trainings we have in Malmö and it's really, really something I recommend if you're interested in this. And then short moments, that is um, an adventure. Uh, the short moments is like can look so different in my experience. I don't have a. It's not like a. You do like this and this, and then you get something. It's an experiment in the moment where something is going on, like like sitting in the chair and feeling like this nervousness. For me, a short moment was like this time just sitting there, feeling the nervousness, and actually recognize that I'm I'm okay. I know that I can go up here. I know that. Yeah, just noticing that I'm fine, and in other times it looks a different, look different, something, an experience of something else. And but I really, really like the thing that this is with me all the time and available all the time. Um, in every situation, I can I can use this, and I have this with me. Yeah, I. I'm still nervous, actually. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't go away today. <laughs> but it was okay. And yeah, thank you for letting me sit here. And also, to, also actually, to, to speak about this makes it obvious to me what is going on and uh, what is the shift in my life. It, I, I think it's really important to, to talk about it, why also communities are good, because you, you put words on what's the difference. Because, uh, as I said, my life looked almost the same but as I talk about it it's so obvious that no it's not it's really a shift because of this training so this is a really good for me also to sit here so thank you